Hey guys, and welcome to a very Christmassy looking Grand Exchange, and welcome to a brand new video on my channel. So, in this video, we're going to be looking at some money making methods, which we've not done in a little while, probably the best part of like two months. And I've been sort of in the money making mood on this account. We still need to make a little bit more money before we can progress into like combat and stuff. So, I've been looking for some money makers recently. And what I've discovered and what I've got back into is the ability to use necromancy as a money making skill and also a bank standing skill. In this video, we're going to look at inks and candles again because at the minute they are selling quite well and they're actually, for per hour, a pretty decent profit for an account with just 60 necromancy as well. So I'm going to withdraw this here. We're going to start with the candles first um, because I think the candles will be the easiest one to go through. The candles um, have had the updates a couple of months ago where you don't have to do the drop down menu to change candles, which is really good and does make it a lot easier. So there's two types of candles which we're going to work with. One is a ritual candle, which we're going to make from just the basic candle you get for a ritual and then add in a lesser necroplasm onto that. So that has a buy price of just under 1.4k and yeah, there's not too bad of a flip there. So that's 800 GP you can have as a slow buy and that's what we want to buy for the greater candles. So I'm just going to put a little offer in now. Um, candle and the necroplasm as well necroplasm is pretty much on the floor so we'll be able to pick this up for a decent price there you go so that is going to be a price of two two three seven per lesser necroplasm and to buy the basic ritual candles the one gp from the shop in the um city of um so basically to make your generic ritual basic candle you just need one necroplasm and one one of these so you're 240 GP for a candle, and then you're going to convert them into the basic ritual candle, which you can sell at the minute for 1.4k. So if you've got absolutely nothing in terms of like cash stack, or I don't know if that's a free to play method or not. Let's have a look. See, that definitely could be free to play as well. But yeah, if you're really struggling for like that first little bit of starter cash, you can do this from level 20 necromancy which really isn't hard to get, and you can make um, a pretty decent like starter cash from there. First Necroplasms, which has the best part of a 1,000 per candle there. As well as um, that, we can upgrade the regular Ritual Candle, which we are making now into a greater Ritual Candle. And I'm just going to go and finish this, and then we'll go and look at the prices for that as well. So a greater Ritual Candle, again, as you can see, the price is slowly sort of trickled back up lately. 2.8k for that, so I think that's just under mid. The, a pretty decent range there so 2.8k for that and especially if you buy your candle for 800 gp you can buy greater necroplasm we go i actually need to buy 50k for 400 coins so 1.2k you turn it into 2.8k that's still a decent turnaround but something you can do like at the bank and again this is going to take level 60 necromancy to do but you're going to be making a much bigger profit compared to the basic ones but make sure to check the margins though between these because it can go through phases and I found this more with the inks than the candles where they do go quite low volume and anytime there's low volume in the Grand Exchange we've talked about it in 4 3 frames and all the other stuff that's your chance to make a little bit more profit so hold out, try and hold your price and then go from there so the next thing is inks so inks is what I've been doing for the past sort of day um, and I did it yesterday just to see what the margins were more than anything and see if it was any decent profit so I've just managed to sell 2.5k worth of inks for 38.5 mil total. And if we scroll down here, in terms of like all the outlay I've spent, I've probably done 23.8 mil. So I've made 15 mil just from doing that buy limit worth of inks, which on a good day would probably take me about an hour and 15 minutes. And you are limited by buy limits, but just to do that every buy limit, you'll quite easily rack up quite a lot of money. And at the minute, compared to like other money makers, it's probably one of the better ones for something which isn't too high of a requirement. In terms of requirement for the inks, um, let's have a look. I believe the great inks which I were doing was level 60. You might be able to get decent profit out of the regular ghost ink, which we looked at, and the powerful one could work as well. So we'll check we'll test them more just so we can see if it works or not. Um, so we've got the regular ghostly ink which is the lowest tier and this is with the lesser necroplasm now to make inks you're going to have to use 20 of the necroplasms so to be fair that is a pretty good price for, for that with lesser necroplasm price so you're pretty much going to be about 4.7k 
Um, for that, your ashes, which are a little high at the minute, is going to be about another 2k on top. And if you include like your ashes and your vase at 2.5k for a, a price with a lot of flex, um, you're going to make about 2k per regular ghostly ink, which is actually pretty good. And then in terms of greater ghost ink, the one which I've been doing is traded quite a bit over mid. Pretty much like a, yeah, the 15.5k mark, which is pretty good for that. And again, you can see the margin. And then finally, the other one, the powerful ghost ink. Again, you're going to need, I think this is level 90 to make this one. So it's a lot higher. But again, this one is, yeah, we found this before when we did um, inks. Is bit... The highest tier one didn't really have the margin. It was the middle of the lower ones which had the best sort of um, best sort of output. So that's what I've been doing is great to go see inks. For all go see inks, you're going to have to have 20 of your necroplasm. So you need to work out roughly where you've got to be. But for me, I've been doing great to go see inks. And I'll buy some ashes at a price now. And we'll work out roughly where we are and how much it is each. So that comes on to the last thing. It's something we did cover in the other episodes as well. It's ashes and the price of ashes. Now, I've just tested them on the Grand Exchange. And they are 2.5k. And that's a pretty big margin for ashes as well. Um, I put in an offer which wasn't good enough. So that's why they've not bought. But I am trying to get them on the lower end. Just to save us a little bit of money. And, and as much money as you can save, the better chance you've got it um, making more profit. But there you go. So let's say 1900 GP for some ashes. Just bought some vials. 103. So let's say 2K. 2K for the ashes and vials. I need 20 of. So let's say that is a price of 2K. Because we've had to pay more for the ashes. And 7.6. So all in for a greater ghosty ink, we're at 9.6k. And then in the history, we are selling the ghosty inks. What did I sell all mine at? 15.4. So 4.8k profit per ink for something which is AF, well, not AFK, for something which is a bank standing skill and is actually relatively decent necromancy XP. I got level 79 necromancy last night just by doing ghosty inks. And to be fair, with this account, I haven't trained necromancy in a combat state. It's all been through candles and inks. So I feel pretty confident that making about 4.8k per ink, you're going to roughly be about 11 to 12 mil per hour making greater ghosty inks. And again, the wiki is really good for this because like we've seen with the frames and the planks and all the other stuff, it has all three options of making inks on the same tab. So if you have a look, you'll be able to work out roughly which one's better profit, which one's worth doing and which one's not worth doing. But um, in terms of the necromancy items though, they are creeping up more in price, um, and I think just because people do it less often now, making inks at the bank or other stuff like that, that's why they sort of started to pick back up, and are, these, and are definitely a decent option to look at if you want to make a little bit of profit while bank sanding, and not just like slow profit, it's really, really quick profit as well. So this account, which definitely needs to build its cash stack back up after buying premium membership, will be doing that for a little bit, um, just to claw a little bit of GP back into the account, and train its necromancy at the same time, so... It's a bit of a win-win and I can start racking up the Christmas note paper as well while also bank skilling. But that's going to be the end of this video. Um, again, I sort of mentioned it last time we did this. I didn't want to do loads of videos based around Necromancy Moneymakers. But it's been a couple of months since we did the last one. And now they're actually starting to make a little bit more GP than they have for a while. The prices are settled and the demand is still there. So they just started to creep up a little bit. So it's worth keeping an eye out for those items because at some point soon they might, might have like a major demand. And because there's not much volume on the Grand Exchange, it could be a high chance that we do go really, really high. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to like the video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're aiming for 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year, which would be massive. Thank you all for the support for this year. It's been pretty insane, to say the least. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, please make sure to leave a like one more time. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.